Hello everybody, uh, nine days of Christmas, Tim Knight here, a slope of hope, and uh, FOMC day, last one of the year, hosted by man of the year, Ben Bernanke is behind us now, so so wraps up a uh, rather eventful 2009 for the Fed, glad it's behind us. Uh, I admit, uh, with some trepidation, I was viewing this day, um, given what happened it wasn't too bad we certainly didn't bust out to nutty new highs again uh we remain at the tippy 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 top of this uh threshold here and i was of course concerned that some uh new announcement by the fed might uh strap the turbo boosters on and launch us uh higher and plunge the knife deeper into the bear's heart so kind of a non-event uh, all in all and do down just uh, 0.1 percent as you can see here but um, I wanted to use this video update just to talk about some longs you've seen a lot of these before I've added some new ones and for those of you who view slope as kind of a, a last bastion uh, for bearishness uh, don't worry I haven't uh, abandoned the uh, the bearish camp completely here I'm just uh, acquiring longs where I where I like the charts uh, there certainly is such thing as a nice technical setup on the long side, as we all know. And so, um, at the risk of having to change my avatar one of these days, I just wanted to thumb through uh, these 30 longs and maybe have a word or two about each of them, uh, some more than others. And you'll see similarities among some of these patterns. Here we start off with AB. Uh, most of the uh, reasons for my going to these will be pretty self-evident. Uh, but as we can see here, we broke above this nice formation. I've been kind of ambling our way up here. Volume's not doing anything particularly remarkable. But uh, and, and as I've said before, I keep these longs on tight leashes. I'm, 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 I'm unkind to my longs, unlike the uh, short positions. So all of these have, have pretty tight stops on them. Next up is uh, ACI. Had a nice breakout, and we've very fully retraced that and are starting to move back up. And in each of these cases, I'll probably kick up the volume just to see if there's anything worth commenting on. A lot of these cases, there, there isn't, um, but just to be safe. APL, uh, kind of a pattern above a pattern here. Nice formation and a nice strong day on this one. This is Atlas uh, Pipeline Partners. And there is something to say about the volume in this one. We can see that during this basing, uh, nice pickup in, uh, in in trading there, which is uh, which is impressive. So that's that's probably one of the the better ones that I see here. This one isn't quite as sure because the formation that this disc does have is uh, certainly coming from some pretty deep places, and the pattern isn't quite completed yet. But I I do like how this is shaping up. AXL once again a nice burst of volume recently on that. I always think of BB when I look at this one. This is BBEP, uh, Brett Byrne Energy Partners. I guess a lot of these tend to be energy focused. Um, I say I guess because I usually think of these things in terms of tickers. It's uh, rarely known to me what on earth these companies do. It's just a ticker symbol. But as I'm, I'm looking at the names at the top of the screen, I do see a lot of these are energy related. Uh, checkpoint, much bigger pattern. This pattern is like eight years big. And not something I expect to explode higher, but this looks like maybe a nice, steady, uh, perish the thought, buy and hold. So uh, it's just such a big pattern that I that I think that could go some nice places. Here's our old friend, the uh, escalator grabbing Crocs. Um, used to be a just a superstar back in the day, and uh, now that we've had a nice tumble, perhaps some better days ahead for that one. DST. Another inverted head and shoulders here with a retracement. Pretty nice looking. Echelon, E-L-O-N. Kind of a larger pattern here. Uh, a bit of a nice pickup in volume through this space. I like that one. Uh, EXBD. This is the Corporate Executive Board Company. I have no idea what a firm named that could possibly do. Such a strange name. Only the Lord knows. I could find out, but who cares? Uh, so here again, we have a series of higher uh, highs and higher lows. And it, make, it makes for a nice, clean stop. Unless you wake up and the thing's down 30% because of God knows what, uh, it, it's usually a fairly safe trade. Uh, hmm, that's funny. I thought I wasn't in this one anymore. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong.
wrong. Anyway, this is general dynamics. Um, so, well, I guess I am. Uh, another clean inverted head and shoulders there. Uh, potentially plenty of upside to go. And uh, a lot of kind of empty air above it. LCC, this is a pattern information. This is US Airways. Uh, could complete a very pretty bottom here. Uh, and the volume is uh, picking up nicely. So a bit more of a speculative one there. LEN, another retracement kind of play. LLL, this is very similar in appearance to uh, General Dynamics just now. Another inverted head and shoulders with a pickup into the open air there. Uh, NetEase, this is a Chinese firm, uh, terribly successful uh, over the years. I mean, you know, this ramp up was just tremendous, made a lot of very rich people uh, back in those days. But um, not a lot going on in the volume volume land here, though a bit of a pickup. But uh, the, the real excitement was this swell uh, where things just kind of petered out after that tremendous multi-thousand point run up. This one I mentioned, uh, dedicated a post today, Patriot Coal PCX. Very pretty pattern. Handsome uh, increase in the volume there. I like what I see there. That could be a nice one. Uh, PPL, inverted head and shoulders. Uh, this one's a little more iffy. Uh, rail, R-A-I-L. Um, I would probably, if it, if it pushes higher, I would get kind of antsy as it approaches that horizontal line. Uh, myself. Here's a cleaner pattern. Rex, once again, energy into a, a, a new high for the year, it looks like, and uh, pretty steady volume. RRI, another inverted head and shoulders in the making. Uh, most of these patterns are complete, some aren't. Here's Ruby Tuesday. This one, uh, another nice day, nearly 6% up, and uh, looks like a potentially pretty pattern. If it gets above that upper horizontal line, just look out. That could be really, really dynamite. Uh, SII, this is a bit more unusual. Uh, we've got a triangle going on here. And uh, most of these, again, very clean stop. Here's a nice big inverted head and shoulders. Uh, Snicker, I call this an SNCR. This is Synchronous Technologies. I think when the iPhone first came out, this was just setting the world on fire because I think they provide some of the key technology behind uh, behind that. But a very pretty pattern here. Maybe do a gap fill on uh, on this one. Here's Sonic, S-O-N-C. Uh, here's one that just got creamed, uh, S-T-E-C. Actually, I shorted this one up here and covered it somewhere along here. I, I missed a good chunk of this fall. I picked up some of it. Uh, but it did a really amazing job coming all the way back down to this gap. Um, and now it's starting to climb higher. This obviously is not some wonderful long-term hold thing. This is more of a dead cap bounce situation. Um, but there's some open air here, hoping to take advantage of. Uh, Tex, T-E-X, very clean retracement there. Another 5% uh, day almost in that one. Titanium, uh, titanium metals, symbol T-I-E, just on the cusp of a breakout here. Could be very nice. Uh, tier ID, sort of my cheapy buck 92 one here. Didn't do anything today, but uh, that could get interesting. I wish there was, on a stock this cheap, I wish there was some more volume pickup, but there's not. This one's a bit sloppy, VMW. Um, it really has not broken cleanly away from this at all. It's been kind of clinging to that line instead of moving away from it. Uh, as with all these nice tight stops, so I'm not going to stick around for any slosh if that gets uh, any sloppier. And finally, Vertex, VRTX, uh, a very nice break here above that horizontal line. Just about at escape velocity here. This could be another... Um, buy and hold in here. So in case you're wondering if you've stumbled onto the wrong blog, this is still Slope of Hope. This is still me, the Mr. Bear. I imagine I could buy stocks for five years straight and people would still think I'm a perma bear, but so be it. Uh, I just like to show there's another side of me sometimes. Um, and uh, we'll see how these turn out. Uh, most of my positions are still short, but I, I am, as I find them, uh, very happy to, to pick up some of these guys because um, they could turn out to be good winners. So that's it for me. Uh, farewell, and let's look forward to a non-FOMC day on Thursday.